Hi everyone, this is Gregor from Personas, and today I want to welcome you to a new chapter of Studio One with the show page. For more than 10 years, I have played electronic live sets at clubs and festivals all over the world. And in these hundreds and hundreds of shows, I've tinkered with various DAW setups trying to create my ideal live set, but I've never come up with a solution that truly satisfied my needs. No matter which DAW I've tried, they all felt either too complex or too limited in a live situation for me. I was either too overwhelmed and distracted by the excessive amounts of information displayed on my screen, or I simply wasn't able to configure my set in a sophisticated manner to begin with. There was no in-between. Finally, Studio One's show page is here to bridge that gap. Show pages for everyone who plays and performs a live show, be it on stage or on stream. It can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. Bass players, guitar players, vocalists, and yes, also electronic musicians like myself, who never picked up a real instrument at some point in their lives. We all have a home now. Let's take a look. We can access the new show page by clicking on the newly added button at the top right. In the planning stage of our show, we can load or import backing tracks, instruments, presets, effects chains, channel settings, and assign them all directly to our live controllers. Then, when it's time to perform, we click on the Perform button to see only the functions that are relevant to us throughout the actual performance. I love this, because if you're a live musician like me, you know we're already receiving so much input, sometimes even feedback <laughs> during our gig. If the software is adding to that sensory overload, it's not helpful. At the same time, we don't want to limit our options when preparing the live set for the sake of a clean, minimalistic interface. That's why we've decided to separate the preparation from the performance stage. This is what makes Studio One's show page truly stand out against anything else on the market today. To understand this workflow better, let's start building a gig from scratch. Let's head over to the song page to look at an example. In this song, I have a couple of virtual instruments that I'd like to use in my live show. So how do we get them over to the show page? Well, it's super simple. Just open them up, click on the arrow at the top left here and select Send to Show. But there's an even better way. Since we want to send all of our virtual instruments directly to our show, we can also just click on the arrow in the instrument rack down here instead, and then select Send All to Show. Done. Let's do the same for our backing tracks. We'll just solo the tracks that we want to keep in the playback, then set the start and end markers respectively, and head up to the song menu. You're probably familiar with Add to Project already, which is how we send our mix to the project page for final mastering, but notice how we now have a new option here. Cool, right? With Add to Show, we can send our song directly to the show. Just like that. I'll also add one of my external instruments to our show, which are always so much fun to play live. With Studio One 5, we have a completely new way to seamlessly integrate these, not just on stage, but also in the studio. Make sure to check out my production tools overview if you'd like to learn more about that. Next, let's look for a cool sounding channel from another song. For instance, I have a nice and complex distortion effects chain here that I'd love to hear on one of the other instruments we've already sent over to the show page. To do this, we simply right click the channel and choose copy channel settings. Now we can just flip over to the show page, right click the desired instrument and paste. Bam! Notice how each and every channel setting, including the effects chain, volume, panning, etc. got copied over immediately. And best of all, this doesn't just work between songs and shows, this also works brilliantly from song to song. It might seem like a small feature at first glance, but the amount of time you're going to save when you actively start using this feature is going to be incredible. Okay, so we've transferred all the elements we need for now. But where do we go from here? Just like we always do in Studio One, drag and drop. Drag and drop has always been a key philosophy of Studio One, and the show page is no exception. To demonstrate, let's add a couple more backing tracks to build a setlist. To do this, we just drag and drop from the browser, in classic Studio One fashion. Okay, but what about reordering your songs last minute before showtime? Drag and drop. Adding the guitarist Empire sound to the live show? Drag and drop. Setting the individual instrument configurations, mixer settings, and so much more for each song individually? Drag and drop. Wait, what? Meet patches. Yes, you heard that right. As soon as you drag an instrument onto an instrument track, we call these virtual instrument players, a patch is being established. Patches recall each and every setting that makes the instrument sound the way it does, on a per song basis, exactly in the way you need it for that specific song, instantaneously. You could even have completely different effect chains or mixer settings for each individual song using patches, since they are available on any type of player. Awesome, so we're almost ready to play our show now. Let's head over to the control section and prepare all of our parameters we'd like to tweak live. 
Just drag and drop the available parameters directly onto the encoders, faders and buttons. This is especially powerful in combination with Presonus hardware controllers, such as the fader port. You can also colorize controls to make the important ones stand out more. Thanks to Studio One's powerful macro controls editor, the only boundary here is your imagination. Finally, when it's showtime, click on Perform and watch how the show page GUI will transform into something much more streamlined and minimalistic, directing our attention solely towards the things that are relevant to us during the actual show. With Studio One 5, performing live has never felt better, whether you do it on stage or on stream. Visit studio1.personas.com for more information.